So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do it. And don't forget, press like and give me some feedback on what videos you want me to do, etc, etc. Okay, so if you didn't know, have a quick look, Google it. How many germs harbour and breed in your wash it up sponge? Oh yeah, in your cloths. Mm -hmm. It's not great. Okay, so one way you can help reduce the amount of germs, which obviously we want to do because we're washing up, aren't we? To eat and drink out of things, we're making them clean. So they may be clean, but they're full of germs from your dish sponge. No, 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 I can't get my words out. So drop in a quarter of a Milton tablet to your washing up water. Okay, that's my top tip for today. So give it a few minutes to completely dissolve. Okay, and now I can stand, wash up, and talk nonsense to those who choose to listen to it. <laughs> so I hope you're all okay today and you're having a good one. Don't forget, keep your spoons, your knives and forks all facing downwards. Pick them up, clean them like this to prevent getting holes in your rubber gloves. Okay? So, oh, even me. I always drop something down time when I wash up. So, yeah, this is a really good way to help stop to get holes and all sorts into your gloves and wasting money, etc. etc. Now, for those of you who have not seen my other videos, washing up liquid and Milton is great for the environment because neither of them release any harmful chemicals into the environment and it doesn't affect that nor does it harm wildlife okay so think about switching eco-friendly if you haven't already okay the other great thing is when you pop Milton in with your uh, sorry your Crocs you don't need to have your water really really hot because I always leave mine to soak first to really get rid of any mucky puppy bits on there and you don't need to have your water mega mega hot because the washing up liquid and the Milton will help break down any grease, kill any germs, okay? And it's, you know, you don't have to worry about your hands getting overly hot. Washing my pan, which I cook my vegetarian bacon in. Yep, I'm sure for those who watch my videos will know I seem to have a lot to say about a lot of things in life. I have a lot of messages I want to impart on the world. <laughs> so uh, if you haven't thought about going veggie or vegan, give it a go. Or reduce the amount of meat you eat, okay? Better for animals, less having to be killed, less having to be bred, better for the environment. It's a better all-round option, in my view. Slightly biased. Okay, and also washing of liquid and the Milton together, I think, is a lovely smell. I love it. So I give my crocs a quick scrub to get the washing of liquid off. Dun, 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 dun. Like so. And I can smell that beautiful Milton smell. I love the smell of Milton. It is lovely, in my opinion. So I give them all a good swirl. I've got a fair bit of washing up liquid on this top. So I give that a really good swirl, like so. Make sure I've got all the bubbles up my pan, like so. And then I just swirl. Gosh, I'm a noisy washer up all the time. I really am. And I just swirl the knives and forks off, like so. Okay. Now, you can leave your sponge in the washing up liquid and water. And because I pre-soaked and rinsed all the muck off the plates and knives and forks, I can now use the sterilising solution from the Milton and the washing up liquid to clean down my surfaces. Okay, your taps 
don't forget to clean your taps and your work tops and everywhere with this solution otherwise it will be a waste okay so wastes of a uh, good milk and washing up liquid give your sink a nice little rub all around as well okay so mm, i just love the smell so i hope you like the video if you do please press like and give me any feedback thank you so so much and a big Massive shout out to Miss Doreen. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.